Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Flipgrid as a student. I previously made a video on how to use it as a teacher, so if you're a teacher watching this, watch that instead. This is for students trying to join a Flipgrid or trying to figure out how to record a video response. And Flipgrid, basically what teachers use it for, is to create an engaging way to talk to students and get responses from students in a video discussion format. So it's mainly used as a video recording platform. You could jump in there, record a video response to your teacher, and you could interact with other members and look at their video responses as well. Let me show you exactly how to join and how to use it. So to join Flipgrid, if you go to info.flipgrid.com, if your teacher gave you a group code, you could type that group code over here. If your teacher did not give you a group code, they should have given you a link to click to get to a page that perhaps looks like this. So this link up here is what I got from a teacher and I put that right here to come to this page. But if the teacher gave you some kind of a code that looks like this instead, you could go ahead and type that code over here. So in this case, let me go ahead and right click and paste this code and press enter. And if they give you a group code, you're going to land on this page where you could see every topic under that group. But if they shared a specific link, you may see a page that looks like this. This is just one topic. In a whole group, you might see multiple different topics, like there's three topics in this one. If you see multiple topics, you could go ahead and add a video to start the conversation here. Or if you just got a link to something that looks like this, you could record your video response here. I'll show you just from here. This is most common way of recording a video response. And I just gave it access to my microphone and camera. You get a pop-up to do that first. So then you'll see this view. And a couple of things to note, right on top, you see where it says 30 seconds right here. This basically shows you that you have a 30 second time frame for a response. The teacher sets that on their side. So it may be longer or shorter depending on what you're doing here. And then you'll see the topic right on top over here and you could also add a sticky note over, over here on top if you wanted to. But the options I'll show you on the bottom. So if you press options, you could go ahead and upload an existing clip too. So you don't have to record a response if you already recorded one on your phone and you wanted to send it on your computer. You could go ahead and change the way the video looks so you could mirror yourself. If that's more preferred for you, you could go ahead and mute yourself could also do a screen recording. So if you do a screen recording, you could actually also record your screen with your presentation here. And let me go back to options and you have some device settings. If you have issues with what camera is working, what microphone is working, if you have an external microphone like me, you could go ahead and choose that here from the dropdown. So I'm using this external microphone. Sounds like what you hear right now, sounds better than my internal. So if you want a better quality, go ahead and get one of those. The middle is obviously record, but you also have effects over here, which gives you a bunch of different things you could choose. You have filters. So if you want your video to look different, depending on what you're recording, you could go ahead and choose one of those effects here. And you also have a ton of things like you have text and you have a board here. So if you wanted to put a board next to you to kind of draw on that, you could go ahead and use a board. You could add a frame. So you could put a frame around the whole thing. Let me actually go ahead and remove that board, we don't need that. And if you wanted to add media, you could drop any pictures or video files over here as well to add media. So this is really, really powerful. And there's a background option here where you could remove your background with a different background. So it kind of works like a green screen or you could just blur your existing background if you want this kind of look. So all of that is available to you here. Let me just exit there. And when you're happy with what you've designed here, go ahead and press the record option right in the middle. You're gonna get a countdown and then your timer is gonna start. So you see right on top, right now I have 27, 26. This is how long you have and you basically wanna get your recording exactly right. I'm gonna pause this because you could always do a retake. So if you don't like what you did, just press confirm. It's gonna delete the existing one then you could re-record exactly what you did. It's a great way to not have to get it perfect the first time. Once you do get a perfect, press pause, or if you got to the 30 second mark, it's gonna pause it, then press next. And here, you could actually trim your video. So if you wanted to start later, you could grab the end here. You wanted to end it sooner, grab it here. There's not too much editing you could do here, but you can change the beginning and ending of the video. If it doesn't look quite right, just delete it and go back to the first page. I'm gonna confirm this here. 
and press next. You could always add music as well. So there's a bunch of music options that you could add. Most of the times it doesn't make sense for this kind of video. You could also add another video clip and it's gonna bring you back to the previous page. In my case, I'm gonna to go to the last page here where I could go ahead and submit my video. So I'm not gonna do anything else, but you can go ahead and change some of these things like uploading a thumbnail, but I'm gonna press submit. Then it's gonna upload the video and then I could either share the link or do nothing. I could just press done. And then back to that same page that the teacher shared with me for that topic, if I refresh it, here's my video response over here. So other people could click here. When the video is ready, it takes a little bit to prepare. They could watch it and they could give it a comment, including your teacher or whoever is in this group. If you did it in the group format, let me refresh this page here, you'll see that response over here. So you'll see multiple different topics in the group if you were to join the group. But if you click it, you come back to the same page. And that's how you create video discussions with Flipgrid. I hope you found this useful. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.